Hey, what is up guys? Earned a worm here. And while I was working at Walmart last night, I came across these fallout boxes in my department, which is electronics. We only had like three or four of them. So I had to grab one. They were $20. With all the Fallout 76 hype going on, it was just a perfect time to find this. And as we all know now, Fallout 76 takes place in West Virginia. And I just happen to be from beautiful West Virginia. So I thought this would be a good video to do outside on this beautiful day. But here is the box. I mean, spoiler alert, they put everything that's in it on the outside. They tell you there is a mystery vinyl, but you still pretty much know exactly what you're getting there. It's going to be a bobblehead that's painted like this guy. I mean, still very cool. For $20, you get a pretty good bit of stuff. Because I'm sure if you went online and just wanted to buy like a Fallout beanie, you'd probably pay what this whole box costs. And the box itself is really cool. Check out the artwork on the sides more of the perks and more on this side and this side so the box itself is just really cool the back is the only side that's kind of plain so the box itself is a collectible in my eyes but i haven't even cracked the plastic on this so i'm going to pull the plastic off and we will go through the items one by one and see how cool they are okay the box is open and you can see inside the box as well you get all this really cool artwork very nice really dig it and this box, like the Nintendo boxes they had, has this little card that says Built by Culture Fly. Okay, we'll start with this Fallout beanie. Very nice. It's got the dead vault dweller on it. I'll pop it out of the plastic. I want to feel the material. Very nice feeling beanie. Like I said, this would probably cost you what the box itself costs. It was only 20 bucks, and this is a very nice beanie. I really like it. Don't know if it's something I would wear, but I guarantee you it's something my son would wear. He is the resident fallout nut. Okay, our next item, I'm guessing this is the cards, but it's in a really cool box. It says MedTech, Mintats. Very cool packaging for the cards, but I'll get them out of the plastic so we can look at them. Man, that's some heavy duty plastic they wrap this stuff in. It's hard to get off of there. I bent the box up. Oh no, this is actually the socks. I was wrong. I thought this was the playing cards. I don't know why I thought that. I just assumed. That's what happens when you assume. But really cool box for some socks. There is the Mintat socks. It's got Bethesda on the bottom. This side's just plain. Still really cool socks and I'll definitely wear these. Okay, our next item is this silica gel says do not eat oh my god they're about to eat it somebody stop them okay and for real this time our next item is these fallout playing cards again really nice packaging on these well the backs of these cards is actually vault tech that is awesome really dig that oh there's the vault dweller a dog wow these are really cool cards okay the other cards the numbers are just regular cards your jokers aces kings queens and jacks are all fallout people i think i like the back better than anything okay our next item is this nuka cola bottle opener and it looks like a giant bottle cap as you know bottle caps are the currency in fallout nice job on the text on the front this uh, symbol reminds me of a very popular soda brand but there's the back there's some magnets on it so you can hang it on your fridge oh that's cool you can just put the top in there and twist it so this will help you with twist offs and the ones you gotta pry off. And of course, our last item in this box is going to be the, the Vault Boy. And I don't know if there's, some of them are different, but this one is Charisma. There's the side of the packaging, very cool. The back and the other side. And I'll get him out so we can have a closer look at him, especially since there's a horrible glare outside. Okay, and he's on this stand, which you can easily take him off. But I thought, I may have said this was a bobblehead. I don't know why I assumed it was a bobblehead because in the game they are bobbleheads. But he's actually not a bobblehead. But a very, very cool vinyl figure. This is Vault 111. Really cool. Again, if you was to buy this individually, I imagine it's something you would pay near the price of the box for. Okay, so there's everything we got in this box. I'm super happy with this. For 20 bucks, it was amazing. And like I said, I got this in the electronics department at Walmart, and we didn't have many of them. So if you're wanting one of these, you better hurry and check your Walmart. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now.